Hey man, how you doing? I don't know if anyone's asked you that today. Maybe no one has, so I'm gonna ask you. I hope you're doing all right, and I hope you've had a productive day. Man, look at that. Look at, just look, it's so sunny and beautiful. Oh my God, I wish more people could see this. Are you happy? I want you to answer that honestly, because it's just you behind the camera. There's no one else here. And uh, I'm not gonna judge you. I mean, it's why you clicked on this video. You are not sure if you're happy or not. You feel empty, almost as if you have no purpose in life. But you also don't want it to stay like this. You want that to change. Or you want to do something, anything to help it change. And I can help you with that. I can give you the one thing that you can do after this video, the only one thing that you can do that will help you kickstart that step, to help you start to make a change, to maybe have just that little bit more of a fulfilling life. And that is gratitude journaling. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. Gratitude journaling is basically the idea of where you write down just 10 things. Well, I... T 10 things. <laughs> Trying to put my 10 fingers up. 10 things that you are grateful for every single morning. You don't have to do it once a day, you can do it as many times throughout the day as you like. But gratitude journaling is just the idea of writing 10 things that you're grateful for every single day. And I do this every single morning. Literally, what I want you to do is grab, literally pause the video now, grab a pen and paper or a book, or just even in notes in your phone right now. Literally just pause the video, go off, and just write down, like, a, put down a title, things I'm grateful for, and then write down 10 things that I'm grateful for. And it could be anything. Pause the video now and go write some stuff and then come back. But it could be anything, right? For me, if I'm gonna read out what I did, what I wrote down today, this is my book of uh, things I'm grateful for. <laughs> where the, where is it? Bloody hell, I can't find the bloody thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like, what I wrote today, I'm grateful for the forest, I'm grateful for the wind, I'm grateful for the sun. I'm grateful for the bench, literally just over there, which is holding all of my stuff, all of my motorcycle gear, my camera equipment, because this is a new place I've never been to today. This is somewhere brand new that I've just traveled to. So I'm grateful for that bench. I'm grateful for dog walkers. I just had an amazing chat with someone who was walking their dog as I was just walking here. I'm grateful for the sun, like sun stars. You know, it's like a thing you get when you take photos. I'm grateful for this view. Like, it, it could be anything. Anything that you are genuinely just glad it is there in your life. See, like when I wrote this, the first time I wrote this, I wrote down, literally, I'm grateful for this pen, that I'm writing all of these YouTube ideas and all the things I'm grateful for every single day. I'm grateful for this pen. I'm grateful for this book. Now, the reason why I'm telling you to do this right now is because if you actually pause the video and you actually went to write down 10 things you're grateful for, you would have found that it's actually quite hard. It's actually quite difficult to find those 10 things that you're grateful for. And do you know why that is? It's because we are basically never grateful. Now that sounds really bad to begin with, but it's not like, oh, you are ungrateful, you ungrateful little shit. <laughs> it's not that, that's not what I mean. I mean, is that a lot of us don't use gratitude to our advantage throughout our days. See, a lot of us don't ever use it. That's why it's so hard now to think of something that you're grateful for. Gratitude is like a cheat code to happiness. It's like a little cheat code to like a short burst of like dopamine, of like happiness. And the reason is because when you realize how hard it is to write things that you're grateful for every single morning, and you keep doing this every single morning, looking for things to be grateful for, when you start walking throughout your day, you start actively looking for more things to be grateful about. Every time you walk around to school or you walk to like, to, I don't know, your parents' house or wherever it is you're going, if you're walking down to school, you know what, I'm grateful for this train that get, takes us to school on time every single day. I'm grateful for this group of people, friends that I'm walking with to school. You start looking for things to write down in the morning for your gratitude journaling, and without realizing it, you start think trying to think of more things to be grateful about throughout your whole day just from this little act every morning which takes you five minutes you start trying to think of more things to be grateful for throughout the whole rest of your day and you start becoming more happy 
rather than thinking of always negative things, which you probably suffer with. You probably are thinking a lot of negative things throughout your whole day. And this is hard not to, everyone has. Everyone does it, it's difficult not to. But having this change of positive perspective where you're always trying to look for the positive things, the things to be grateful about, you start to be more grateful, you start to be more happy about the th every little tiny aspect of life. For example, the other day, I was cleaning my motorcycle, right? I ride a bike, I rode a bike here, I was cleaning my motorcycle and it takes me like an hour, two hours and I was getting tired, I was on my knees all the time and I was getting exhausted and I was only halfway through and I was starting to think, God, I hate this, I just want this to finish. And then I took a step back and I was like, oh, no, no, actually, no, 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 I'm gonna start being grateful, right? I have a motorcycle. I'm cleaning this beautiful motorcycle underneath the sun, which some people dream about. Some people will only wish that they could have a motorcycle to clean and take care of underneath the bright sun. Once I started looking at it and being like, holy shit, look at this stunning beauty of a bike. Ah. Oh. Don't mind me just orgasming, uh, orgasming, uh, orgasming over my motorcycle. I started to look at it and be like, you know what? I'm actually, I'm grateful to be cleaning this. I'm grateful to even have this motorcycle. The fact that I get to clean it, that it's good weather. I'm grateful that it's good weather today. And I started enjoying the rest of that hour cleaning my bike and putting in more effort because I was enjoying it. Gratitude journaling only takes, what is it? Five, 10 minutes out of your day. First thing, if you do it first thing in your day, yet it has an immeasurable impact on your life that will change your life forever. I've been doing it for two years now and I have to say it's one of the best things being on self-improvement. If you're on self-improvement and you this video helped you, another one will pop in the corner, go watch it, because this could also help you change your life. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. Give me a self-improvement kiss. Mwah.